If you already have a record label LLC, I'm pretty sure that it's not fully finished at the moment. Number one is you probably don't have an address for that. You're probably using your personal address and we'll get into that in a minute. But at the same time, it's not set up for funding and you probably don't have everything that you need to actually run the thing. Now, I know a lot of you have fell victim to the YouTube jargon out there with you need to start a parent company, i.e. like my video. But, you know, I mean, you're just you're just getting the thing going. So we got to clean up a few things to really supercharge it so it works for you in its base element that it's in right now. And we're going to talk about eight ways you can do that coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. Let's hop right in. All right, our first stop is the business plan. Nothing supercharges a business or LLC for this matter like a plan of action. Many of my followers starting up a record label for themselves or others, right, never really seem to get this step down. However, if one can set their sights on a trajectory, define what help they will need to get there and who they will bring along or need to get the job done, then you will be much better off than 90% of newcomers to this industry. If you don't have a plan of where you're going and how you're gonna run this LLC, it will quickly be ran in the ground or not get off the ground at all, okay? So I need you all to really plan out what you're gonna do with the LLC, whether it be for yourself as a DIY record label or whether you're the record label who, who's gonna sign people, get a plan of action together. Doesn't have to be super duper fancy, you know what I mean? But you need to get some goals on a sheet of paper, look at how you're gonna fund those goals and what help you're gonna need to get there and who you're gonna need to bring along to make it happen, all right? The next one is the virtual address. Between the business plan and the virtual address, I mean, I'm, I might say you, you in there like swimwear, but we got a lot more to talk about. Virtual offices add a layer of protection between your residents and the general public. I recommend getting this type of address for professionalism, security, and financial mobility. So I'll tell you this, a lot of people who get on calls with me end up having their personal addresses on file. This, I'm, I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying a lot. And what this does is this causes people who are real stalkers or who are just really, really curious to look you up on the Secretary of State's office database see where your virtual office is and see, because this is where people who want to reach you, they will really want to reach you. They want to find an uh, address to get at you, right? And you want to make sure that it's a virtual address and not your home address. I see people do this all the time, all the time. Doesn't even have to be a record label. They just do it all the time, okay? Don't do that. Now, here's 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 my next choice that's going to supercharge the LLC. And I can tell you from, from a personal degree, that the CPA, the Certified Public Accountant, is golden. If there's one person I cherish the most, it is my CPA. They help you with tax strategies that will help you grow as a business. And trust me, I've tried implementing tax strategies myself via YouTubers, but I can't tell you how many meetings I've had with my CPA last year to set myself up for this year. So CPAs will save the day when it comes to getting your finances in order. Trust me, they will. OK, I can't tell you like I've had maybe four meetings, three or four meetings with my CPA. I, I meet quarterly with them so that I know what's going on. I can see my trajectory. We can talk about planning. We can talk about tax strategies and all of this. Like I I wouldn't every I, I got to see them. I got to see them. You know what I mean? So I recommend getting a CPA for sure. I know it's going to cost you, but you're going to need one. Trust me now. Dunn's number. Let's talk about something else here. A Dunn's number is a credit score for your business credit to be reported on. You'll need this for your next step. But however, let me say that if you use an online registered agent, they more than likely already created this number on your behalf. So go to Dunn and Brassie's website, www.dnb.com to register your business or claim your business there. Now, because I told you we were getting on our next step, which is business credit. Let me talk about how we're gonna use it in the beginning and how we're gonna supercharge our label in the beginning. In the beginning, a business credit card is useful for monthly reoccurring charges that are made to the business. That's use one. Not so much funding your recording process, not yet. Why? Because you're not making enough income yet to cover the bill each month, okay? Number two, this card will be used to protect the money you have in the bank. We don't wanna swipe our debit card, we wanna swipe our credit card. This is a security measure. All the money that we have in the bank, leave it in the bank. You got a debit card, leave that debit card in a safe or something like that. Take your credit card. Let the credit card take all the all the blows and hits and 
and bullets and all of that. Do not let your personal debit card do that. All right. So this is an added layer of protection that you can take around in your wallet with you. All right. All cash flow must be protected. Now, here are three contracts that you need to have at your disposal in your arsenal. A recording contract at all times, unless you're a DIY single artist record label, you need your recording contract because you need to know how you're going to sign artists and how you like to sign artists. Every label doesn't like to sign artists the same way. And you need to have one that is written specifically for you. Then you need a producer agreement for how you want to do business with producers, the non-negotiable version. All right. And this is what you're going to sit down with your attorney. You're going to you're going to be able to find an attorney when you tell them I need a recording contract. I need a producer agreement and I need a one stop agreement. The one stop agreement is actually uh, the it's giving you the permission to license on everybody's behalf on a single composition and master. All right. And everybody needs this is something that goes overlooked. Beyond split sheets and stuff like that, if you are the record label, you need to possess the, the permission to license records on everybody's behalf. One Stop Agreement is going to do that for you. It also help you to enter the synchronization world uh, with a quicker pace. So if you come to the table with an attorney, uh, you, you'll be able to find one when you tell them, hey, I got some money for you and I need you to draft some contracts for me. Um, and then when you have these in your arsenal, I guarantee you the confidence boost. Because if you know the type of business that you want to do based on the tool that you want to use, we can now move forward. This goes hand in hand with our business plan. All right. Now, accounting software. I love QuickBooks. I won't recommend anything but QuickBooks, especially QuickBooks Online, QBO. QuickBooks Online will save you at the end of each tax year and each quarter. Your profit and loss statements will read almost identical to your Schedule C, and you can really keep track of the cash flow your business, of your business, so you know how much you have on hand and how much you need to borrow, simply put. And plus, much more. You know what I mean? Like, you can 1099 people out of that sucker. Like, you, it's just, it just helps, man. It helps. It's such a big help, man. Like, for anyway, I'm not going to go on a soapbox with it. Now, aging the LLC. This one doesn't take much on your behalf, but if your LLC is built out properly with all the information that truly makes it an entity on its own, You'll be fine. Let the LLC age and watch what funding opportunities open up to you in six months to a year. Guarantee it. I guarantee you that if you, you get the first business credit card, you're going to start to see offers of 200000 300000 This is credit now. 500000 depending on how much credit you're using, coming into you because you did everything right. We didn't talk about everything on the show. Most of that stuff or all of that stuff is really in the 60-day record label course. Now, if I get credit, how should I spend it? You should never use credit unless you have a play that you're going to run that involves you breaking even or making a profit. Let me say that again. You should never use credit unless you have a play that you're going to run that involves you breaking even or making a profit. There must be some type of gain that you receive from the play monetary or mon monetarily or asset wise, and it shouldn't leave you in the red for long because it's a play. It's a quick flip. You know what I mean? When should I get a CPA? You can get one when you start. You may not be able to afford them all year, but you can afford a yearly or semi-annual check-in and strategy session. I recommend that. For real. Because the more you meet with experts, like you meet, let's say you meet with me, and then you meet with an attorney that drafted your contracts, and then you meet with the CPA. As you begin to meet with these professionals, the business begins to grow. You begin to get inspired. You begin to get the plan together. I'm your coach. You got the CPA, you got the legal side, and the, the, the CPA is definitely going to introduce you to a financial planner. See what I'm saying? So the circle begins to increase. Now, should I get my contracts from the internet or an attorney? Great question. You should get your contracts from an attorney if you can help it. They will be able to draft contracts for you based on your business plan and how you want to sign artists or purchase beats from producers. However, you can always use my contracts inside the 60 day record label course. And if you do inside the course, you know, I say I recommend that you take these contracts to an attorney or don't execute these contracts without an attorney. OK, so a little bit of quick help here. If you have a contract online, you can take it to an attorney. Most attorneys prefer to use their contracts. You know what I mean? But they can take your contract, redline it for you if it's in really good condition and it should save you a few hundred bucks. 
Okay, so there's a little tip right there. Now, if you're an artist, a producer, a singer, songwriter, doesn't make a difference, a new music exec who wants to build your record or publishing company within 60 days or less without searching all over the internet for the how-tos, I built this just for you. It's called the 60-Day Record Label Course, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a robust company and you'll learn how to play the game via contract, which you should already know, right? And be fully set up to collect your domestic and your international music publishing and record royalties without the middleman taking 15%. Now I made this foolproof just for you and if you fall through the process, don't hesitate to book a call with me. I'll pick you back up and we'll finish the race together. All right, tap the link below to hop right in. Now, if this is your first time watching the show, please grab the free stuff, 10 major steps to increase your record label's profits. There's a couple like little free courses that kind of go into that. You just got to follow the funnel on through. A free split sheet is included with the download. All right, adding these elements we talked about today will not only make you appear professional, but it will also motivate you to take action with your LLC. I guarantee it. It's just like a, it's an energy thing. You know what I mean? If you get to work, it will start to build itself. You'll start to go with the flow of things. Things will start to change for you. Not adding these elements will put you at risk in more ways than one and limit you in your growth. I guarantee that because I've been through those mistakes and I'm telling you the truth. So let's add some of these things to the business. All right, music money makers. So if you needed a couple more elements to really strengthen that LLC, you now have them. This is going to be a great year in 2024. And I know a lot of you all will be building. So music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. Jump into the 60 day record label course below. Download the free stuff below. Book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com. And I'll see you next time. Peace.